Hey you awesomenesses, do I got some goodness for you today. I mean, look behind me. The aliens have landed right here at the School of Permaculture. So what is this? This is a suburban size, half dome, half geodesic dome, greenhouse. It has been awesome. How it got here was a little bit interesting. I had a whole design ready to go. It was kind of a triangle shape for the greenhouse. Knew we were gonna, where we were gonna buy materials. Through one of our courses over the last few years, I had met a gentleman uh, named Robin Foote. So he came along and I said, hey, uh, would you go, go ahead and come over and I need some, uh, some labor and some materials and give me a, an estimation. So he went off and about a week or so later he came back. Lo and behold, gave me nothing that I was looking for. Actually, he gave me a 3D model of this half dome geodesic greenhouse. Now, I'm gonna admit, I was a little irritated at the beginning. It took not only a leap of faith, but I knew I was designing this new design back here in the backyard of the suburban site. Real curvy, real sexy, real appealing, and this thing would fit right in. So after I put those two together, I, I called him up. I said, Robin, let's do this. Boom, we, we went forward. Now in permaculture, we have a couple of guidelines. We have principles, we have ethics, and one of the guides is every element should serve many functions and every essential function should be supported by many elements. This is redundancy, this is self-resiliency. So if one element in the system goes down, you're not out. Like We got some goodness for you right here. What are some of these functions that just the one element, the greenhouse, will serve? So let's get right into it. Number one, it's gonna be a greenhouse. What is the main purpose of the greenhouse? A greenhouse is to start plants in the winter time or when it's too cold outside and you need a heated area. Let's take a look at it, it's facing south. But before we get too confused with that, anytime you put a greenhouse up, chances are you're gonna want it to face towards the sun. Now we're in the northern hemisphere, so that's gonna be towards the southern sky. The sun is always in the southern part of the sky when you're in the northern hemisphere. If this is the greenhouse, the sun is up here, but in the winter, ooh, boom, those cold winter months right here, that sun is able to penetrate right through that greenhouse. We could go in there, close it up, close all the doors. It stays nice and cozy. We can get those plants started so at the last frost in spring, bam, we can get those bad babies right in the ground. This has been a bit of an experiment. Not only did it look good, I was like, hey, let's try it, it's gonna be awesome. But here at the School of Permaculture, in almost any site, we are research facilities. Now, it has been performing really well. We were concerned during the summer months, was it just gonna burn us up? And what is the master bedroom? Now, the master bedroom is right on the other side of the wall that's behind the greenhouse. Now, check it out, it didn't. So since it's facing south, and during the winter, we can close up those doors and guess what? That master bedroom where we're sleeping, nice and warm, nice and cozy. Wife totally approves. On the exact opposite part of the year, we need to keep those doors open and all vents on the top. If you notice, we kind of left them unscrewed. You know, now that we went through this summer and it's been really hot, we can even keep those screw, uh, screwed up. We'll just open up the two doors. Opening those two doors keeps a breeze in there. Now it's hot, but it's the same temperature as it is outside of the greenhouse. So it's really not holding any additional temperature that is gonna go into the room. Really happy about those results right there. Next to the master bedroom, obviously is the master bathroom. In a line, you can see from this PVC pipe right here, Connected behind this wall is the master bathroom sink, master bathroom shower, and then on the other side of the shower wall is the washing machine. So we got three fixtures, washing machine, shower, and sink going right into this PVC pipe where it's the start. Now underneath there, this is a, uh, a rectangular shape. Check out our other tips where I show you how to make a gray water bed. This gray water bed is right here. It will take those three fixtures and just the medium itself will clean the water that I use in the shower. Now obviously I don't want to be using bleach and you should have a uh, <clears throat> some type of switch if you do decide to use harsher chemicals like bleach that will not divert into the gray water bed. Way cool. On that note, I do recommend almost all the time not to go 
past Permaculture 101. Permaculture 101 just means keep it simple, stupid, like the KISS method. That's because it is inherently complex. So that means don't purposely try to grow things out of climate. Don't get me wrong, it's super impressive, it's cool. If you can do it with microclimates, that's cool. And in this situation, we are doing a little something like that. I happen to love plantains and bananas, so guess what is gonna be growing right there in that gray water bed? Plantains and bananas coming up going to be transplanting uh, here pretty soon. So we can grow food and clean water and recycle the water that we use from the house, doing it properly with this greenhouse. Way cool. Another function that most people are probably not going to think about is safety. Not just the safety and security from uh, stopping a bullet or something like that, even though the outside shell is polycarbonate and they do make bulletproof glass from polycarbonate. That's not what I mean. I mean here and actually all over the world, whether it's heating, cooling, drying, being wet, there is hashtag global weirding happening everywhere. And just this year, like almost everywhere in North Texas is barely producing any stone or stone fruit or poems because of the massive hailstorms that came through. Now some of these hailstorms, no joke, just right down the street, softball size. Now these roofs uh, in a lot of houses, right underneath those shingles and even the metal is just some uh, OSB board or plywood. You get a lot of hits with a lot of hail, it's gonna go right through. We can come out here under this polycarbonate and with the structure of the geodesic dome, we know we can come out here, the whole family, including our little Shih Tzu, and we're gonna be uber safe. Now, there's other functions that are happening here as well, and there's gonna be more video that we're gonna do just on this greenhouse because it was such a research and experimentation that we did here. So stay tuned for more videos, especially how we build out the shelves and the misting systems. One of the last functions here that I want to mention in this video is the aesthetic appeal. I've been on this same train myself where it is function above form and I'm going to continue to agree with that. But with the amount of interest that comes to permaculture and especially the amount of people that come in and out of here, this is inspiration so they could see something gorgeous and beautiful. So when they go home and they're talking to their significant other or just for themselves, they have a showpiece that they could keep in their mind that says, hey, look, I want to do something like that. And that's why we make these videos. And one of the reasons we do what we do anyhow is to light a fire, to inspire and to rock your face off. All right, guys, you are awesome. Make sure to check out schoolofpermaculture.com. Subscribe to our email list exclusive content to the email club there. Come take a course from us online or in person. We're here on all the social media goodies, all of them there. We'll help you find a consultant and come do some aid work with us. We love you guys. You're awesome. Like, we really love you. Like, no, 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 really, really, we love you. You're awesome. We love you. We'll see you next time.